This is one of the most tragic love stories you would ever hear. So, Evans and Jacqueline were said to have met while in secondary school and they were said to be lovers. They were both fond of each other and everyone who knew them referred to them as high school sweethearts. And this was way back in 2016. Their love for each other was so strong and they knew right from the go that they will end up together as husband and wife. And that was how they began dating. And along the line, before they even finished secondary school, Jacqueline got pregnant. And this is where things started to change for the worse. But not just yet. Because after she got pregnant, her father disowned her, kicking her out of the house. And so she was forced to move in with Evans. And Evans, on his own part, was so excited. His own family too were equally excited. He loved Jacqueline. And since Jacqueline was carrying his child, this all the more made him happy. And so together, he agreed that he was going to take care of Jacqueline and the baby. And after secondary school, instead of going to the university, Evans decided to get a job. And he got a job as a security man. Although his job was a bit far away from where he lived with Jacqueline, but he still made it work. He only worked at night. And during the day, he would run back home to take care of his pregnant wife. These were two young teenagers in secondary school now facing the adult reality of life. But it really did not change their love especially for Evans, who was still very much madly in love with Jacqueline. He took care of her until she gave birth, and the love did not stop there. After Jacqueline had given birth, Evans thought it was best for Jacqueline to go back to school so she could get a degree. He was willing to stay home to look after the kids, and whenever she comes back from classes or lectures, he would go to his workplace at night, where he worked as a security guard. That was the arrangement. But remember, Jacqueline had been disowned by her father, so not much support was coming from her family. But a lot of the support she got came from Evans and Evans' side of the family. Now, Evans, although worked as a security guard, also had some form of inheritance to himself. He had a land, he had a farm animal, he had properties. And it was some of those properties that he ended up selling to take care of the child and to see Jacqueline through her university days till she became a graduate and until she finally got a good job. I mean, at first sight, it looks like they finally made it work, despite the challenges. Just like they say, love conquer it all. Jacqueline was able to give birth to her child and still able to finish school. Evans, by his own choice, was still able to take care of his family by getting a job and selling some of his personal properties, including land, trees, and the farm animals. Even going as far as borrowing and paying from friends. Eventually, Jacqueline finishes from school and she got a job. And this was supposed to be the time where things should be a little easier. But it got really complicated because somewhere along the line, given that they will have to live together and raise a child together, Evans thought it was best that he married Jacqueline. I mean, throughout the entire story, Evans described Jacqueline as his wife and many outlets described Jacqueline as Evans' wife. It was stated that they both agreed to be a couple. Besides, they have a daughter together and they are living together pretty much. But what wasn't clear is if he actually did it the right way, if he actually got approval for my family, if he actually asked for a hand in marriage and did all the ceremony and all the wedding rites, that was something that wasn't clear. For all that is worth, Jacqueline might just be the baby mama living with the baby daddy. And sadly, that was how Jacqueline saw it. For Evans, he was living with the love of his life. He trusted Jacqueline. Jacqueline was the only person, according to him, that he trusted most in the whole wild world. He was willing to do anything for her, and he proved it by being there for her when no one was. By selling his properties and family properties and choosing not to go to school just so she could. I mean, what other proof does Jacqueline need to know that this man really loved her? But this is a problem. And I'm not so sure for Jacqueline's side of the story, but this is what might probably have played a role in how everything changed in this love tragedy. Eventually, it was said that Jacqueline's father started coming back into her life, which meant she started building and working on her relationship with her family. After being disowned for getting pregnant in secondary school, and now that she's done from school and she's working, it seemed like this was a perfect time for her family to come back because it seemed as though she also was scattering for them one way or another, which was fine, I guess. But then, you know, family has a way of influencing their children. 
especially their daughters. Things soon changed and early 2024, where one day Evans came back from work and something told him to go through Jacqueline's mobile phone. It's possible that he may have heard or he may have suspected, but whatever may have pushed him to request to go through her mobile phone clearly had its reason because when he got her phone he went into her whatsapp and that was where he got the shock of his life in jacqueline's whatsapp messages evans discovered that jacqueline had been in serious conversation with multiple men two men specifically and one more specifically enters a man named shedrach the other man was named to be stanley but stanley was maybe just one or two times shedrach was the main threat to Evans and Jacqueline's relationship because the message exchange between Shedrach and Jacqueline was intense. It's one thing if Jacqueline was having sex with other men, but to be planning to run away and getting married to another man while living with Evans was wild. Shedrach happened to be the new man in Jacqueline's life and it seemed as though Shedrach was aware of Evans and the daughter, but that did not really stop him. Because, again, Jacqueline was not legally or anyhowly married to Evans. They were just simply living together. And another contrast is Shedrach seemed to be doing well. Shedrach seemed to be rich. He seemed to be a businessman or someone who had a 9-to-5 job. Whereas Evans was a security man. Even though we know that was a sacrifice he made for the love of his life and the daughters. But that was the reality. And if you look into it deeply... Jacqueline was now a graduate with a good job who is in marriage and has found a man who also have a good job that has interest in him, which was Shedrach. After seeing the text messages, Evans confronted Jacqueline and she apologized. She said she was sorry, yada, 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 that it just happened a few times and that was it. And Evans asked her not to do it again. Evans asked her to stop talking with this man. But the thing is, it was in too deep already. I mean, this is a man that they're already planning on running away. They're already planning on escaping, on, on eloping. Clearly, it was not just a sex affair. Jacqueline was most possibly or most likely in love with Shedrach. But I have reasons to believe that that might not be the case. Because... According to what was said, Jacqueline admitted to Evans that she was going to stick with Shedrach because her family, that is her father who disowned her and had found a way to come back into her life, advised her to do so. Jacqueline said that her father was in support of her relationship with Shedrach because Shedrach had given the family huge amounts of money. And I guess this is just Jacqueline trying to please the family to find her way back, probably still dealing with the trauma of being a disgraced young girl who got pregnant in secondary school. And so if a man has interest in her and the man is already giving her family money and her father is telling her to stick with that man, it's clear why Jacqueline would want to go down that route. And Chedrak was already willing and has done everything pleasing to the eyes of Jacqueline's parents to marry her and i think knowing this seriously injured the heart of evans seeing that there was another man who was not just only sleeping with the love of his life but making arrangements to take her away from him and that was when evans started running mad literally because he started going on his social media and began making series of cryptic posts suggesting that he had plans to murder jacqueline and I think maybe if people had picked up on that post or if Jacqueline had seen those tweets, she would have maybe run away. She would have run for her life because he had been making those cryptic posts long before he carried out the act of killing Jacqueline. Yes, he did kill Jacqueline in the end of the story. And that would have been avoided if people had picked up on it. But he did not have enough followers or probably no one saw deep thoughts into it in his entire cryptic post he kept talking about how jacqueline was cheating on him and how jacqueline is a cheating wife and advising his followers to never accept back a cheating wife and all this cryptic post was made on the 11th of february 2024 that was when he started so every day from the 11th of february he would make something cryptic he would make something he, he would reference his cheating wife 
and reference his plans to kill her, even posting her picture and saying RIP, rest in peace, whereas she's still alive. These were the signs that Evans was giving on the social media to show that he was not okay with what was going on in his uh, life. And he was also showing that he had plans of doing something dangerous to Jacqueline. On the 6th of March, 2024, Evans posted on his Twitter again, saying the story has officially ended, admitting that he was mentally disturbed. But the reason he said this was because the week before, he had found out that despite his cry and plea for Jacqueline to leave Shedrach alone and focus on him, Jacqueline still went on a vacation with Shedrach, spending the weekend with Shedrach and switching off her phone so that Evans would not reach her. So after a whole weekend of sleeping with the enemy, she comes back home and acting like she had been somewhere else. But the problem is Evans had bugged her phone and had duplicated it, which meant that everything that she does on her phone, he could see from his. So all the chats, all the conversation, even when she went on her getaway weekend with, with Shedrach and lying about it, Evans knew she was lying. And I think this is what made Evans say that the story ends today and concluded that he was mentally disturbed because at this point, he knew he had lost Jacqueline for good. On the 7th, he didn't make any post. And on the 8th of March, 2024, he came back on Twitter posting Jacqueline's picture and saying, rest in peace, my love. I loved you, but you loved someone else. And choices have consequences. He even went on to say that he wished Jacqueline had recognized her mistake and he wished Jacqueline had changed, which meant he was willing to still make everything go away if only she would just stop seeing Shadrach. But he's as though that I think Jacqueline maybe really did like Shadrach. Or maybe she was really just doing it because Shedrach was giving her family money and giving her money too. It's, it's also possible. It's not clear how Evans killed Jacqueline. He may have strangled her or stabbed her, but it wasn't stated. Some days after he made this post about her dying, people became worried for her. And that was when I think people started listening. But it was too late. Eventually, Jacqueline's body was found and Evans was on the run. The police were trying to find him. They were trying to trail him. That was when the investigation opened on him and they went on his Twitter. And I think this is where a lot of people started seeing all the tweets that he had been making, all the warning signs that he had been giving, all the threats. The fact that he had been planning to kill his wife for over a month was all in the open on his social media. Again, people blamed it on the fact that he didn't have many followers uh, or blamed on the fact that a lot of the posts or tweets did not go viral. And... Otherwise, they could have caught it quick and they could have probably saved Jacqueline. The hunt for Evans became intense. However, on the 11th of March, 2024, he too was found dead in Jomoko area in Kayambu County, around the same vicinity where he lived with his love of his life. Jacqueline's body was taken by her family and was buried. And when Evans was reported to have also died, it was through social media that his own family found out about his death and people calling to inform them. The family did express their regret of how the whole thing ended, saying that they did not like the fact that their son killed his wife. But they did confirm, given that Evans had told all the story on his social media about how he sold his properties, how he gave, it, gave up his life for this woman. And the family confirmed that Evans was telling the truth, that he did sell a lot of their family properties and a lot of his own personal properties, even dropping out of school, all because he wanted the best for Jacqueline and their daughter. And that's it, guys. This is a tragic love story of Evans and Jacqueline. And it's so sad because... Ah, Lord have mercy. When I did hear the story, my mind was like, ah, first of all, this is the thing with high school sweethearts. I feel like for me, the best way high school lovers can maybe survive the test of the harsh reality of the world is if they separate at some point and go on to date other people and then come back later on. But having to be with one person from childhood up to the later stage of your life can be difficult for both genders for me jacqueline obviously was not married and maybe evans wasn't exactly 
planning on doing so because he had already seen that they were living together. It's not clear if that conversation came up in their relationship, but I guess it's safe to say that she had every reason to look elsewhere if that was the case. But another way to put it, like I suspected originally, I felt like for Jacqueline, maybe she really did like Evans because she was still living with him. She could have moved with Shedrach since Shedrach has all the money in the world. She could have packed that load and just go and stay with Shedrach. But she was sleeping with Shedrach and still coming home to Evans. Maybe she underestimated Evans. Maybe she thought Evans was somebody who loved her so much. And that's the thing with people who tend to love more in a relationship. They are most times seen as the gullible or the foolish ones. No offense. And given the story, I feel like Jacqueline may have underlooked and underestimated Evans because why would you be cheating on somebody who loves you so much and who has complained uh, or who is playing the role of your husband and you're still in that house is it also possible she was seeing his tweet I'm sure it is but I mean she maybe did not see Evans as someone who could do such a thing because like Evans said in one of his posts telling his friends never to take back a cheating wife but he did it I guess that kind of got into Jacqueline's head to think that he will always keep doing it. I would have suggested for her to have ended everything with Evans and moved out of the house early on. I guess her availability and presence just kept upsetting him to do more. Maybe if he wasn't seeing her every other day, knowing what is going on, knowing who she's chatting with, knowing she's sleeping with other men, he would not have been as agitated as he turned out to be. But she didn't. I mean, Shedrach, who is planning on running away with her and getting married to her, should have actually done it. But I don't know. I guess for Shedrach, he just wanted to sleep with her. Because if he was really indeed serious in getting married with Jacqueline, he would have taken her out of that situation. Many people on the internet are saying or suggesting that this is why a man should not give up so much of his life to send a woman to school, yada, yada, yada. The point is, when she got pregnant in secondary school, they both did it. They were both young and naive and that happened. And he stepped up to be the man that most adults can't even be, let's be honest. For a young Evans to get a job in secondary school and choose not to go to university so that he can take care of his pregnant wife and their future daughter, that is more than what I can say for most men who are even older than him. But he did it. He stepped up. I just wish he was a lot more open to the possibility that this was not the union that he thought it was. How I wished he was a lot more, or if someone had advised him or told him that, see, despite you doing this, just know that things could change in the future. But I think for Evans, he just put all his hope and all his luck for him. He had found his... Uh, the, the love of his life, his, the bone of his bone and the flesh of his flesh. So he wasn't even looking or trying to go back. But I think for Jacqueline, Jacqueline may have felt that a whole lot of her life had been lost. Psychologically speaking, I could understand how it may have affected her to get pregnant in secondary school. Being laughed, being mocked and being disowned by your family. I can imagine how that could have affected her. And so clearly all she, that she would have left is Evans who had stepped up. So she didn't really have much say. But eventually, when things started getting clearer for her and her life started getting back in track, she most likely thought it was best to see the finer things in life, which I think is within her rights. Even if they were married, she would still would maybe have to get a divorce to be free again. Or it could also mean that since her parents or her father was getting back into her life, she felt like a child again. She felt like they loved her again and she was trying to do everything to keep them. Because according to what was said, it was her father who encouraged her to go out with Shedrach because he was giving the family money. And I think that could have maybe been her major key challenges, which could maybe also explain why she kept coming back home to Evans. Maybe she was just having a monetary exchange love affair with Shedrach. Maybe she didn't really like Shedrach. It's also possible. Maybe that is the case. Maybe she really loved Evans. Because now I think of it, that is why. Because if she really did love Shedrach and they were planning on running away, giving what they were chatting and conversing on WhatsApp, she would have moved in with him. 
or since he has so much money, gotten her own place. But now that I look at it, it's possible that she clearly didn't like Shadrach. She was just going with the flow because he had money and was giving money to her family who was getting back into her life. I wish she would have maybe explained it to Evans, but I don't think Evans would have understood at all. Maybe Evans could probably have some kind of hatred for her family, seeing that they abandoned her when she needed them the most. And he stood up. So if I was Evans, clearly I would not be happy with her father at all. You abandoned this girl. But I stood up and I was there for her. I know it's my child, but, you know, this is time where family are needed. But, you know, you guys left her. And now that I have sacrificed my life, my career, my future, sold all my properties, my land, my inheritance, to give your daughter a good life and make sure she has a safe delivery, a home to stay, food over her head, school fees for her education, and now you guys come back into her life and you're telling her to go sleep with other men for money. Oh my God. Sorry guys, I'm actually processing this story right now in real time. And I'm trying to see both sides. The truth is, what happened in the end was not supposed to happen. Evans did not need to do that. He did. The, killing her was just extreme. And I feel him also on alive in himself to was not the best. In my mind, this was a situation where they could have found a way out of it. She should have probably moved back with her family since, you know, they are now pimping her. I mean, it's just complicated. I, I don't know, it's really an unfortunate story. I feel bad for them. I don't know where their daughter is, which member of the family would take care of the child. I'm hoping they get the child. I'm hoping Evan's family get the child. But I won't be surprised if the girl's father, uh, the girl's family would. It depends because they weren't there for her. So I would hope the family that was there for her would be the one to take care of the child. But you guys let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the story. What do you think about it? We can agree that Evans went too far. But then the entire story and every details in it seemed like there was some kind of unfair balance in their tragic love story. But let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And turn on notification button so whenever there is an update, you'll be the first to get notified. Thank you for watching.